Hi, how are you? It's Sue. Welcome back to my channel today. Um, I'm working on prompt number 28 for Junk Journal January. And 28 is antique. I wanted to do something a little bit different again for this one. Um, and I want to use my paints. And I was flicking through this book this is a great book. Look at that. <laughs> and it's got some fabulous pictures. A lot of them are around 1924. And antique really is 100 years plus, isn't it? I like that one too. Look at that. <laughs> the birth of tourism. Yeah, so there's lots of quite interesting pictures mostly black and white but there are a few colored ones in here and um, look at that when was this it doesn't say oh 1911 1911 Ooh, that would be good okay so anyway that was the book I was working from and um, I've picked these images now this was all about Scheherazade, and I've got ink all over it, look. How did I manage that? Mixing my ink colors, I think. Rats. Oh, well, never mind. Um, let's see if I can get that off. Um, yeah, so anyway, Scheherazade, it was very risque at the time. Um, beautiful costumes. Oh, yeah, it's got a lot of it. Um, yes, imagine. And I've taken this picture because this was the fashion of the day, 1914. So you could understand why that was considered a bit risque. <laughs> anyway, oh, look at that. Got that off. Yay. Good -o. All right, so we'll put these somewhere safe got another picture too and this one talks about the costume uh, costumes and sketches that were made for the costumes and I've taken this out and taken those colors and I want to use those colors to add some color to this vintage piece of music paper and this is a piece that I was using I think for the last um, last journal page I made. Right, I'm going to move things that don't need to be here out of the way. <laughs> okay, so really all I want to do is just, I don't know quite how this paper will go, but I just want to add some colour. And um, might be blocks, we'll try blocks, blocks of colour, see how that looks. Um, yeah, just because that is a black and white photo, I thought it would be quite good too. Ooh, I like that. Actually, I thought this was a good brush, but I don't think it is. It's, um, it's a bit stiff. Let's go with this one. It's not so big. That's pretty good. Let's add a bit more of that colour. No, that's wrong. Okay, we might come back to that. So then we've got some blue. How are you today? Um, are you enjoying your weekend? Have you done anything nice, anything special? Um, we were out last night to a bit of a music con concert, but um, a private one um, around here. But, um, oh gosh, it wasn't quite our style of music. It was a bit 
or somebody said hillbilly. I don't know whether that was being kind to hillbilly music or cruel. <laughs> anyway, but the company was good. We enjoyed it from that point of view. Now, where is... just got to work out what that move was I used. Cobalt. Okay, got it. It's this one. Yeah, that's more like it. Um, now there's some green in there too. I put this out but it's so warm the colour is drying in the palette. <laughs> there we go. Just blocks of colour. Um, go back into the red. Okay, and I think we'll have more of this gold, which is actually ochre. And that's pretty water in there. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Got enough blue there. Give it a try. No. Is that one? Is it that one? Yeah. I could have done this beforehand, couldn't I? I could have saved you having to sit through me playing. Um, and what else will we have? I think more of the purpley colour, which was this one here. I'm a messy painter. I've got paint splashes everywhere. <laughs> Never mind. So there we go. I might just darken that one down a bit. I want to do then is I will add this you, you're not going to see those down there but do you get any of the color don't get any of the the green but that's fine there's not an awful lot of green in that picture okay so I'm just going to go and dry this and I'll be right back okay so what I've done is I've stitched this pocket on because that picture was actually attached to another piece of book page to make it a bit um, sturdier. Um, this will go inside the pocket here. But what I thought I'd do was attach this picture, which is the same story, and it has our colours from the background. I'm going to attach that with a paper clip. 
mini clip. Actually, let's put this down so I do it properly. There we go. So that's attached there and it can go either way. Um, this will go in here like so. Do it like that. And I've got some because look at the pearls. Pearls and jewels everywhere. But I thought I'd add some pearls on here and I've got these sticky back half pearls. And they're a sort of, I don't know whether they are chocolate. Yes, chocolate. And I think they go quite well. So I'm going to add some of these. Oops. Just get my art glitter glue. Okay. Just add three down there for now. And I might look at the top. Oops. One. <laughs> Come on, up you go. Here we go. Three. So three there, and we might put three across the top, but we'll use the smaller ones. Okay. One. Two, three. We'll drop down a size. One. Two. I'm sorry if you can hear my fan in the background here. It's very warm had the air conditioning on for a little while but um, once I cooled the room down a bit I thought right now we'll put the fan on okay so there we are so that's another quick and easy page um, for antique a little bit different I think Um, just to change things up. So let's find the page. Here it is. Now this was a pocket on the other side, so I've taken the tags out. They're here. So we'll pop those in once this is attached. And I think we'd better use the art glitter glue to attach it. Plenty around that staple. See if I can give this a bit of a I'm not gonna spritz it, I might try just dropping. I don't know whether this is going to show up really on this paper. It's quite huge. That's funny. This has spread where the paint didn't. <laughs> okay, so that needs to dry again. So I will dry it with the heat tool. Oops, there 
we go and I will be back when it's dry. So if you're listening to this noise. Okay, so I've added a prompt up here in the corner, number 28. And um, for now, I've tucked that under because it just was standing out too much. I need to play around with this. But um, that's our completed page. I added a few gold spots because it, you know, it was um, a bit decadent. Um, yeah, that's it. A bit different again for Junk Journal January. Prompt number 28, Antique. Thanks so much for calling past today. Um, I hope you've managed to do a bit of crafting yourself over the weekend. And I look forward to seeing you next week when we finish up with Junk Journal January and move on. Okay, thanks so much now. Bye.